Hi, my name is Jess Lane, and we are going to do um, volume of prisms and cylinders. So these are just gonna, I'm gonna be giving you formulas, and then you can write down those formulas, and then we're just gonna plug in answers, or plug in numbers, and we'll solve. So the formula for a prism, so the volume formula for prisms is just B, big B times H, where B, we've seen this before in the surface area, is area, of base. B is area of base. So volume is just area of the base times the height. So when I have a prism, hi. <laughs> no, you're fine. Dogs, life. I don't re record my videos. Pogo! Oh, oh my dog's gonna come. Okay. So four, seven, and then five. Okay, so we have a prism here, and you see that it's four, seven, and five. I'm gonna highlight the base because that's what we need to do. We need to find the area of that base. And so that base is a four by seven. So if you wanna just rewrite the rectangle, you can. And area of a rectangle is just length times width. So four, times seven, which is 28. So four times seven is 28, so that's the area of the base. So then we just plug that in for B, and then the H, the height of this base, is five. Oh my God. He's fine. Fake. 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 So volume here, so area of the base is 28, and then we multiply it by the height. 28 times five, which is 140 <coughs> centimeters cubed. Here we go. Dang dogs. Life, huh? Okay, so centimeters cubed, and volume is in cubed units, so 140 centimeters cubed once we do that volume. So now let's, that's volume of prisms. Um, oh, we still have other prisms. So what about a rect or triangular prism? That was a rectangular prism. So a triangular prism triangular prism, let's say that's 8, this is 12, and then that is four. So a triangular prism, the base we know is a triangle. So B is going to be area of that triangle, which is base times height divided by two. So I'm gonna redraw that triangle. It has an eight and then a height of four. So area is base times height divided by two. So eight times four is 32 divided by two is 16. So there's my area of the triangle. And then I need the height. The height, remember, connects the two bases. So triangle to triangle would be 12. So volume equals B, which is 16, times H, the height, which is 12. So we have volume equals 16 times 12. Um, everything is in centimeters. So that would be 192 centimeters cubed once we solve for the volume. So that's volume. Volume is 196 centimeters cubed. 92, 192, sorry. And the thing, it looks like a six. <laughs> okay, so cylinders. Volume of cylinders. Volume of cylinders, so volume equals pi r squared h. So that is the volume of cylinders, pi r squared h, and r stands for radius. Okay, so let's do a cylinder one. So we have a cylinder. So we have a cylinder, we have the radius of five and a height of 18. So we just plug in things that we know to the formula. So volume equals pi 
pi r squared, so that would be 5 squared, times h, which is 18. And now we're going to solve. Again, I'm not, I'm going to multiply pi at the very end because sometimes your teacher will say, find the answer in terms of pi. And so that means you don't multiply out through pi. So we're going to do that. 5 squared is 25. And then 25 times 18 is 450 pi. So that would be my answer in terms of pi. When I multiply everything out, 5 squared is 25, 25 times 18 is 450. Now, if your teacher does want you to find a decimal answer, then you can just multiply 450 by 3.14, and you get 14 13 centimeters cubed, 1,413 centimeters cubed, because volume is in cube units. And that is how you find volume of a cylinder. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.